Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the open closed principles. This is one of the solid principles of object oriented design patterns. And I have already discussed the S, which is the single responsibility principle in my last video. If you have not checked it out, do check it out. I will add the link in the description below. Now let's dive into the open closed principle. So the open close principle states that uh, a class or a function or any module that you basically use that should be open for extension but closed for modification. So what do we mean by this? We simply mean that suppose if you are making a class, you should not uh, uh, you are making a class and you added some functionality to it. Now in the future, suppose you have to add some new functionality. Now when you want to add some new functionality, you don't want to modify your old class which you made you should be able to extend it so let's see this with the help of an example so in this we are designing a simple calculator so what does this calculator do it takes in the operation and perform uh, the operation on the given two integers for example if the operation is equal to zero then it simply returns the sum of the two and if the operation is equal to one it returns the difference between the two and similarly for multiplication now what's wrong with this class now suppose in future you have to add division also or some other function so what you would have to do you would have to create another else if condition that if operation is something something then you do that particular thing so this in this you can see that we are actually modifying the class instead of being able to extend it easily now suppose there are 100 different operations you would keep on typing else if else if else if which is like very bad kind of system it makes the code lengthy and it involves a lot of like manual work and the, the kind of unit testing that you would have to do that would also be really tough in this case so how can we improve this so to improve this let's introduce a class called operation in this we have uh, members like a and b which will be used for addition and subtraction or whatever operation that we want to perform so these are the two integers and there is just one public function which is the perform operation now this is an abstract class as we have declared this function as virtual in c++ we do not have uh, interfaces so that's how we uh, actually define interfaces uh, in c++ with the help of abstract classes now we create various operations that we want in this uh, which are derived from this operation class for example addition then there is subtraction and then simply multiplication now when you, if you have to now change the code for that calculated function you simply don't have to do anything you just have to create an operation class and just do perform operation so instead of passing that int operation which you which you were doing and kind of uh, actually writing the if else conditions you can simply pass this i operation and now what you have to do is you simply you don't have you even have to pass these uh, a and b because i operation already has these two member functions so you just calculate so what do you do you simply just do operation dot perform operation and uh, let's take this as int and you simply can return this whatever the result is so in this you don't have to worry about <coughs> what this operation is doing it can be of multiplication type it can be of addition type it can be of any subtraction type whatever it might be you can simply just do a uh, dot perform operation and it will perform the desired operation now suppose you have want to add a new operation now also you can just simply create a new class like class division extend it through i operation and uh, just create the perform operation function return a by b and that's all you have to do you don't have to modify any other class you don't have to do anything so this code is kind of extensible you can extend it to support different functions so this is what open close trends principle talks about so i hope you like this video if you did press the like button Subscribe for more valuable content and I'll see you in the next one.